In Activity 8, Isobars and Isotherms, students examine national weather data on temperature and barometric pressure in the form of isotherms and isobars. Students first draw isobars and isotherms on their weather maps, and then deduce what happens when air masses of different pressure meet. You will need the following materials from the kit, Activity Sheet 8 and Weather Stations. You will also need to provide U.S. outline maps on weather station from Activity 1, different colored pencils, and weather reports. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. Also, collect weather reports. Each team of two will need two different colored pencils and their weather stations containing the copy of the U.S. map. To begin the activity, Remind students that areas of different air pressure are associated with different weather conditions. Then, remind students about the weather map symbols they learned to use in the previous activity and how useful they are. Ask students what can we add to our weather map that would allow us to see the areas of different air pressure. Students may suggest connecting points of similar air pressures across the country. Have the students retrieve their weather stations and ask them to remove the outline map from their weather stations. Looking at today's weather report, draw the student's attention to the lines or shaded areas on the map that connects areas of the same temperature or barometric pressure. Now ask, what is the purpose of these lines or shaded areas? Students should be able to see that the lines represent areas having the same pressure or temperature. Discuss how visually connecting areas with the same air pressure helps us represent the sizes and shapes of the air masses. Once these huge air masses can be visualized, their movement can be better understood and better forecasted. Next, explain to students that isobars are lines drawn on weather maps to connect weather stations reporting the same air pressures. Ask students what other characteristics of weather would be beneficial to plot. Elicit that it may also be beneficial to plot temperature. Then ask what would make the areas with the same temperature easier to see on the map. Students may suggest that connecting points of the same temperature would make it easier to see on the map. Next, explain that isotherms are lines drawn to connect areas with the same temperature. Show students an example of what isotherms look like. Distribute Activity Sheet 8 to each student and two different colored pencils to each team. Have students complete the activity sheet. Then, instruct the teams to use one colored pencil to draw isotherms from the latest weather report on their U.S. outline map. Your local paper may or may not show isobars on the weather report. If the isobars are there, tell teams to use a different colored pencil to draw them on their outline map. After teams finish, return the outline map to its position on the weather station and secure it with paper fasteners. To begin a discussion of the type of weather that can be expected in an area where two air masses of different temperatures meet, ask, do you think that there will be a change in weather where two areas of different temperatures meet? Why? Remember that cold air in a high pressure area flows to fill a warm, low pressure area. As masses of air move, winds are created and the weather often changes. Winds are associated with storms and often precede them. Ask students to transfer daily national weather data on isotherms and isobars to a new outline map every day. Each new outline map should be secured over the preceding day's map. In this way, students can refer to previous day's maps as they track the movement of the air masses. Have students secure the latest weather report on top of the others in the bottom center of their weather stations. Finally, lead a discussion comparing yesterday's forecast with today's actual weather. To conclude the activity, have the students return their weather stations to the designated areas. 
for science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.